Police say it is their greatest tool since fingerprints and DNA evidence. A remarkable new technology is helping police spot criminals without even looking. But as Fox 6 investigator Brian Paulson tells you, privacy advocates are worried. Brian. That's right, Ted and Mary. Police departments all over Wisconsin are getting it. And the ones that don't have it probably want it. Automated license plate recognition, or ALPR, is changing the way police find cars connected to crime. But along the way, it's helping them compile massive amounts of information about people like you who may not be doing anything wrong. She's never been convicted of a crime. In fact, Kate Krause has never even been suspected of one. Still, Greenfield police know exactly where she was on July 17th at 6.38 p.m. You were right on Morgan by Alverno. Right. That's... Any idea what was going on there? Uh, usually I take that route about that time every night to go pick up my kids. So that's kind of scary that they know that. This photograph of Kate's minivan was taken by a $19,000 camera system that can read license plates automatically. It's clearly one of the biggest advancements in technology that we have had in the last probably 50 or more years. Automated license plate recognition or ALPR systems have been around for years. The Illinois Tollway uses them to catch drivers who blow tolls without paying. But police departments in Wisconsin have only recently started mounting mobile plate readers on squad cars. You don't have to think about it. It's, it's constantly helping you scan uh, for stolen vehicles and, and other violations. Greenfield police equipped two of their squad cars with ALPR over the summer. Each car has four cameras, two in front and two on the side. You can drive rather quickly in a parking lot and still, you know, it'll pick up the reads. Every time a camera recognizes what looks like a license plate, it snaps pictures, converts the plate image into text, and then compares that text to a hot list of license plates belonging to stolen cars, cars wanted in an Amber Alert, or cars suspected of having a connection to a crime or other violation. It's a process that happens in the blink of an eye, over and over and over again. Every time you hear that beep, that ding, that's a read. That's a read. When Greenfield police took us for a ride, Officer Brian Wallander got a hit on a car with stolen plates. Hi, alert. Before we even pulled out of the parking lot. Right now, it's just a matter of figuring out who is operating this car. It was parked outside the Greenfield Public Library. Inside, they found Paul Kovacic, who admitted to stealing the plates from a used car dealership in Oshkosh. This is a, an offender that would have gone unnoticed without the system. And that's why ALPR is quickly spreading across the country. In 2007, just one police department in all of Wisconsin had it. Five years later, there are 37, including nine in southeastern Wisconsin alone. The agencies that have license plate reader technology want license plate reader technology because of the ability to multiply the eyes that are out there on the road. But those eyes are watching more than just criminals. They're capturing the time, date, and location of vehicles whose drivers aren't doing anything wrong. Obviously, you know if a cop is following you, but you don't know that they're snapping shots of your license plate as you're driving. Kraus is a Fox 6 producer who lives in Greenfield. She agreed to file an open records request with police to see if they are storing information about her car. Sure enough, they found four records that pinpoint her location on specific dates and times. It's almost as if you know you have a big brother watching you. And the more data police collect, the more of a concern it is for privacy advocates like Jennifer Lynch, an attorney for the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Of course, everybody wants to be able to catch criminals, but it, that can't be a justification for collecting massive amounts of information on Americans. In just two months of using ALPR, Greenfield police captured roughly a half million plate reads. Racine police are closing in on 900,000, and Franklin police have amassed a database of nearly 1.8 million reads. And you can really map out a picture of a person's life with all of that information. The International Association of Chiefs of Police acknowledges that ALPR raises privacy concerns because it can reveal an individual's driving habits, placing them at political protests, doctor's offices, or religious places of worship. 
And that's why the IACP says strict limits need to be placed on access to the data. We have taken a very strong stand that this information is private and that we will resist any attempt to release this information because we do understand the ramifications that this information could be used in a negative way. I really do think that it, it has to be a balance and maybe that balance is struck on how long law enforcement can keep the information. In a report released last month, the IACP acknowledges there is no established formula for determining how long to keep the data. So departments are coming up with their own rules. Greenfield police plan to keep it for one year, while Watosa police, three years. Racine police don't have a defined retention policy at all, and Franklin police say theirs is still in development, even though they've had the systems for three years. There is a shelf life of this information. But Chief Wentland says that shelf life is not zero. In fact, they were able to use their database to catch a pair of bank robbers. The old adage of pictures worth a thousand words. In August, Oak Creek police asked neighboring departments to be on the lookout for a red Pontiac Grand Am, license plate 279 KVL. Lo and behold, Greenfield police already had a picture of the car in their system, a picture that revealed a unique dent in the rear fender. Two of our officers were off duty. They were in the city of Milwaukee. They happened to be driving down uh, Oklahoma Avenue and just happened to notice the vehicle in a parking lot. They arrested 58-year-old twins Michael and Patrick Weggie for armed robbery. As long as they're using it for the distinct purpose of catching criminals, then, you know, I don't see, I don't see the problem with it. And that's the great dilemma of 21st century policing. High alert. The more police learn about criminals. A little unsettling. The more they know about the rest of us. Oak Creek Police Chief John Edwards tells me they are still looking into ALPR in Oak Creek, including the possibility of sharing the data with other departments on a cloud-based system. However, he's been hesitant, he says, at least in part, because there is no standard for data retention. Some departments are dumping it right away. Others, such as Milwaukee, may keep their data up to seven years. So while these plate readers are great at capturing information, there's still a lot of uncertainty about what to do with all of that data once it's been collected. Seems like more and more privacy is a thing of the past, isn't it? You know, it's, when you look uh, at yeah, this. Yeah, the more and more data we collect, the more computers can do. So could state legislators step in and set a statewide standard? It is certainly an option here. You look at the state of Maine, they actually limit data retention to 21 days. The state of New Jersey has passed a law that says up to five years uh, is how long police can keep it. So far here, though, in the state of Wisconsin, there is no limit and there are no real standards for what to do. So it's kind of the Wild West in terms of what Mm. Local police departments are doing. They're coming up with their own rules. So at this point, it could be on there, out there forever. You know, there's no I, delete on could that. Be. Yeah, okay. that's right. Wow, interesting. Brian, thanks. All right. A chaotic scene in Bayview as a fire tears through a home late last night. The smoke was just building.